this is my Tradescanthia silamontana plant friend as you can see this plant has finished blooming and here its flower are dried up after blooming i have taken the cutting several times lots of new shoots are coming from here so today i am going to remove all the old shoots that is today i am going to prune this plant so there is good space for the new shoots to grow properly hello friends welcome to hr garden for taking the cutting i have sanitize the scissor so now i am going to remove this old shoots so we need to prune the plant to get the new shoot and to maintain the plants now you can see so many new shoot is coming the pot is full but i am not reporting this because it this plant is very happy in this pot so i have removed the almost all the shoot except two and this is new one so i am not removing this and one shoot with a dried flower i am not removing i am trying to propagate this plant from seeds also let's see i'll show that video also to you friends now see how beautiful this plant looks its foliage is amazing especially this plant is grown from this velvety foliage that is why this plant is also known as white velvet but its flower are equally beautiful i have shared the flower of this white velvet several times now after few days i am going to give a handful of vermicompost in this pot and keep this plant in the same place where it used to be these are the shoots which i have removed now i am not going to throw this shoot i am going to take the cutting from this shoot this plant propagate very easily within 15 days it will start rooting and from 15 to 30 days you can transplant this plant in separate pot to get a new plant so friends i am using old potting mixture for growing the cutting so i have taken 6 in pot for growing this cutting because there are many cuttings and i have removed the leaves from lower end of this cutting as you can see you can take 3 to 5 inches of cutting my cutting is longer than that now make sure that at least you place one or two node in the soil so that from that node it can produce the roots friends i have finished taking the cutting some of the cuttings i have taken in the 6 inches pot and two of the cutting i have taken in the small plastic cup friends i usually take cutting in this size of plastic pot so that when it grows properly and produce the shoots and a root it becomes easier for me to transplant and if someone asks it's easier for me to give them it is very easy to transport and it's very easy to carry that's why i use this kind of plastic glass nowadays to propagate my plants now friends i am going to water all this my cuttings and keep it in a dry shady area for few days and after that i'll take this cutting in a place where it gets some hour of sunlight every day so friends i did two work together today i pruned my mother plant at the same time after pruning i did not throw 
the stem which I got from the mother plant but I took their cutting. Now I hope that all the cutting will grow in new plant in coming days. I will surely update with you. This is it for today friends. Keep watching. Tomorrow I'll come with another interesting video. Till then take care of yourself. Keep gardening, like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching HR Garden.